Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Today we are going to start with Jupiter. Certain combinations of Jupiter or the usage of Jupiter, the base of usage of Jupiter. Jupiter can be used in different patterns to know a little bit more about the native or about the native's um, or lifestyles or about the wife or anybody. <clears throat> Everybody speaks about to Jupiter that is there. This is no, in no way different. It is the same. But certain things which was just behind the screens that I am trying to bring it out in front of you so that it will be of much use in astrology or people who are trying to follow astrology. Okay, Vedic, traditional, Nadi. They have got the same formats when you go deep into it. Because all roads lead to Rome. It is no two different roads. But the way the road is laid will be a little. Some roads are difficult. Some roads are smooth running. Likewise, these all these roads go to the same goal. But still, the path you choose and for a beginner or in the present day world, everybody selects the easiest mode of knowing things. Earlier in those days, they were learning from a guru. They were putting their heart and soul towards the learning and they had spent a lot of time on that learning. But nowadays, immediately after purchasing a book, they'll become an astrologer. That means they try to grasp. Even the grasping power is more for the present generation. And also they will learn quickly and also they will try to apply it quickly. So for them, these things will be far better and it is most useful. This is my intention. Okay. Of course, there are people who really want to know in depth the knowledge of Nadi astrology for everybody, for layman or an astrologer or a learner, people who have got interest in that particular science this astrological science or Nadi astrology. For them, this will hold a very good study. Okay, right. About Jupiter. Jupiter, as I have been telling you from the beginning, it is about the native. But there are different dimensions to see in a native's life or in a native's chart. Okay. So as usual, the same old charts are there because I don't want to divert and uh, see that it makes you confused or it gets you confused okay so about jupiter if i have to speak <clears throat> as usual jupiter and the planets just like i said sun and the planets jupiter and the planets tells us about the number of siblings okay there was no no planets conjunction with jupiter but still i got two brothers and one sister these complaints or these comments will be rising up. For them, I request go through the subject properly and then come to one decision. I will give one statement which is applicable in general. But by the end of the study, you will know all those things. Before that, if you just jump into conclusion, it's of no use. Okay, so let me begin the show. I'm sorry. I can't call it a show. <laughs> it's not one man show. It is a subject. So, <clears throat> when Jupiter is conjuncted with other planets in the same Rasi or sign, immaterial of any Rasi or sign, immaterial, that is not our question. How, what all the planets are in conjunction with Jupiter, the number of siblings will be those many. Okay? This is one thing about Jupiter. Second thing, usually Jupiter will have its placement in one of the signs. Okay. In the adjacent signs or adjacent Rasis, you will have different planets placed. Right? Now here, one more role of Jupiter is played. How? Now if at all, Jupiter is besides, we will take for example, Sun. 
when Jupiter is any in any Rasi, when Jupiter is having Sun either here or in the house which is following Jupiter, you can clearly say the native has taken birth in a house besides a temple either way. This is one thing. I am not telling about the father, I am not talking about the son. I am just telling you the location of the house can be known with the adjacent planets in the other houses, adjacent signs or rasis. In case, I am putting different planets there because we have to learn a few more uh, locations or a few more placement of planets and then what that means exactly. Okay. Okay, anyhow, for example, you got moon here. Moon here or moon here. In this case, you can clearly say there is a water place besides the house or there is a well besides the house. Anyway, I'm just putting it in two places because for you to understand any of the houses, just to place moon in any of the houses. Instead of repeating it twice, I may take it one stretch. Okay? This is about moon. Mars. It's a old building. Let us forget Mars. Important things we will learn. If there is Mercury, here, or here, or here, nearby, here or here, if Mercury is placed in a sign besides in the adjacent signs of Rasis from Jupiter, Mercury, Mercury, this is the situation. In this situation, when Mercury is placed either in the preceding house or the following house or sign or Rasi, that means there is an educational institution besides the house of the native. This is clear. Okay, and when Venus sits there, Venus sits there in the adjacent houses. Okay, Venus. When Venus sits in the adjacent houses of Jupiter, immaterial of Jupiter's placement in whichever Rasi or sign, if Venus is either in the following or preceding houses. It means clearly that there must be a juice shop or an ATM or a medical stores besides the house. Okay. This is one more point. Jupiter with the adjacent house planets. Now next. Saturn. It's a vacant place. A uh, vacant space, Saturn besides Jupiter in either the following house, following Rasi or the preceding house, preceding Rasi. When Saturn is placed either in one of these two houses, adjacent or following ho adjacent houses or signs, it says clearly that there is a vacant space with the, uh, the, in that space you will find junk or garbage. This is the situation. Rahu. When Rahu is placed in one of the adjacent signs. When Rahu is here. Again I am repeating it. Kindly don't forget one thing. Now, I am speaking about only Jupiter and the sign, immaterial of Jupiter placement in any signs. And if Rahu is placed in the preceding house or the following house, what the situation will be, what the location of the native's house will be. This is what I am trying to convey. So now, when Rahu is there in the preceding or the following house, it clearly says that the native is born in a house besides which there is an old construction which has a crack towards the south wall of the old house. 
this is what throughout my research I have traced. Now it is left to you all. You can go ahead with that. This is about Rahu. If at all there is Ketu in, way, in any of the adjacent houses, Ketu, <coughs> excuse me, if at all Ketu in any of the adjacent houses, in middle of Jupiter's placement in any sign or Rasi, Ketu tells about dead end road. So that will be the last lane or dead end lane besides which the house will be situated, the native's house is located. And Ketu, location wise it is a house or a dead end lane. But on a larger scale if you see that there will be a pilgrimage center nearby to the native's house, nearby to the town, nearby to the native town, native city there is a pilgrimage center. This is what it means. Okay. This is how adjacent houses planets tell us about the location of the house of the native. Yes, you can take one more twist in this. How? When we find the native's house, when it is placed beside the sun, it is a temple. Besides moon, it is a hotel or a uh, what do you call this? A well or a water place. When it is Venus, ATM, juice shop, coffee day, something like that. When these things are applicable for the native, for Jupiter, and the location of the native house is known. In case of a male horoscope, if such a if such planets are placed either in the adjacent houses of Venus, definitely the girl's house will be situated like that. The woman, the wife who is going to come into the life of the native will be born in such a house. Clear? Next. For example, if the native is a female, then search for the planets in the adjacent houses of Mars. So the husband will be coming from that house which is having or which is placed in a locality either besides a temple if Mars is placed besides Sun in the adjacent houses. If Jupiter is placed beside Mars, school is there. If Venus is there, ATM, medical stores or fancy stores is there. If Moon is there, it is hotel and restaurant or coffee shop or well or something. So, this is how what is applicable to the native because when Jupiter becomes the native, Venus becomes the female for that native, that is wife of that male native. Mars will become the husband of the female native. This is how you can bifurcate and the easiest way of doing things very particularly. People will be amazed if you tell them that is medical is to medical store is situated beside your house a bank is there beside besides your house a hospital is there there you have to use your intuition and see what all the combinations are as i told you before each planet signifies about a particular thing that can be applied here to get a perfect picture of the location of the house clear i think it's clear so this is over <coughs> Now, the third point, if at all, if at all, there is no planet immaterial of Jupiter's placement, wherever this Jupiter may be placed. I am not talking about conjunction, I am just talking about Jupiter immaterial of the placement in any Rasi or sign. Here also, Jupiter and placement of Jupiter in any Rasi or sign. If at all, when Jupiter is placed in any Rasi or sign and from Jupiter, from Jupiter till the fourth house, from Jupiter till the fourth house, if you do not find any planet, <coughs> I am not talking about the aspects, definitely you will have some aspect. I am not talking about aspect, clearly I am stressing on this, it is 
empty all the four houses up to the fifth house but four houses is more than enough all the four houses if they are empty so the native will be aimlessly traveling wanderer clear this is one point these are the techniques these are the secrets which will make you become a master next let us go for sanyasi yog so many people they'll get married but they stay aloof they cannot spend their time with their wives they cannot sit down beside their wife and talk to the children nothing is going to happen because they most of the times they will be away from the house not to a different land or a different town or a different city inside the house or from the house they'll just move out and be happy with their friends or whatever they have their work to do that situation comes to the native when he has or she has second dose from jupiter the second dose if a malefic is placed just let us imagine saturn <coughs> and fourth dose so the second dose and the fourth dose from jupiter if a malefic malefic is placed you can clearly say that it is a sanyasi yoga of course there are other patterns also i am not discussing about that what i am concerned about jupiter and the second house this is what i am telling you one thing sanyasi means i don't tell that uh, he is not going to get married and he is going to be alone no he will be in the regular routine marital life but his contribution to the family will be zero or minimal okay so this is about one combination second dose and fourth dose next we will have we will i'll get you one more thing if at all from jupiter in material of again jupiter's placement from jupiter the third house lord is in the second house for example jupiter's third house lord is in the second house third house lord is saturn this is sagittarius okay i'll mark it here 6 7 8 9 sagittarius third house lord aquarius okay so from jupiter the third house lord a third house lord if he sits in the second house from jupiter from jupiter the third house lord sits in the second house from jupiter the native will have financial favors from the brothers or sisters when in the second round i will now I, i did not tell you all about the rounds i will come to that but until then certain things which is important i'm putting it here that's all because jupiter is in the picture now so i have to tell you this when i touched the four roses second house and third house came into the picture clear yeah this is about the houses next jupiter's placement already once i have repeated it i mean i once i have said about jupiter in different rasis the situation has come telling you all one more time will not do any harm either for me or for you maybe it will be a better idea to repeat it if at all let's start from here cancer jupiter's exaltation if at all in a male chart jupiter is there in cancer the native will have a well built body point number 1 point number 2 he'll be noble point number 2 point number 3 he will settle down or develop well in a different land this is about the male native who is having jupiter in exaltation clear now let us come to female if at all female even here in a female chart we try to consider with jupiter only because jupiter is atma karaka when jupiter sits in <coughs> cancer for a female chart or in a female chart 
that causes humiliations, problems, hurdles in the life of that lady, which leads to sorrowfulness throughout the life. One more secret is here. Any lady who is having this Karkataka Rasi, the moon sign, Cancer, or Jupiter, for a female, for a female, if Jupiter is in Cancer, definitely that lady will be having a lot of troubles, a lot of humiliations, not exactly troubles. Financially, they'll be good. Personality-wise, they'll be good. Humiliations, unnecessary blames on them. They'll be good, but still people will unnecessarily take them for a right. Okay? This is about a female chart having Jupiter in exaltion. <clears throat> Leo for both male or female. If at all Jupiter is there in a natal chart placed in Leo, Leo that is, and that personality will be ruling, will be having a royal life, he'll have a kingly life. Again, I'm repeating here, other things aspect may bring him down, the second house or the Venus. One point is important. I am trying to tell today about Jupiter. I am concentrating on Jupiter. Don't bring other question into this, please. So about Jupiter, he is going to have a royal and kingly life when he, Jupiter is placed in a natal chart in Leo. Clear? Okay. If at all, Jupiter is placed in, uh, what do you call this? <clears throat> Gemini or Virgo, Kanya, Mituna, or Kanya, okay? Mituna or Kanya. If Jupiter is placed, either is one of these two. When Jupiter in a natal chart is placed in Gemini, it will make them a public personality, a media personality, highly intelligent personality. Whereas when it comes to Virgo, Kanya, that native, he or she, will be justice seeker, knowledge about law. All these beautiful qualities will have in these personalities. Okay? Interested in law, justice seekers for Kanya. Media personality, public personality, highly intelligent here. In Kanya, they'll become leaders to a small area, leaders in a small area, he or she working for the people, okay? If at all it is in Venus's house, here there are two points. Jupiter and Venus together in any of the Venus's houses. Once again, I'll repeat. Jupiter in conjunction with Venus in Taurus, Vrishabham or Tula, Libra. The native will shine well, will have a lot of earnings, will become rich after marriage. And he will have very good relations. This is about Venus's house. If it is not conjuncted, if Jupiter is not conjuncted with Venus, but still if he stays in these two houses, which one? The Taurus, Rishabha and the Libra. There he will make money after the marriage. He will have or he will, sh he will shine in his life with monetary and the luxurious things after his marriage or marital life. Okay. Uh, not, uh, not after the marital life, I'm sorry. After marriage. Now, let's come to the, again, a sorrowful state. Natives who have Jupiter in Aries or Scorpio are the best set of people but will have a lot of tensions frequently going to depressions. They will come up very good in sports, mimicry, imitating, all these things are good in them. But still they struggle in their life journey. They will have money, they will have everything except peace of mind. Most of the times. Other planets aspect, these things are not doing it now. 
I am concentrating only on the planet Jupiter in a natal chart placed in Aries and Scorpio. That is what these people get. They will have struggles, they will have tensions and they will be disturbed most of the times. Because they have got a lot of spiritual energy. Spiritual energy means I am not talking about the prayers, pujas or everything. By birth, they are highly spiritual in nature, that energy levels. And that's the reason they will have a lot of materialistic worries. Not financially, only the thoughts or the way they cannot get along with the other people. Because nowadays everybody is interested in money making, cheating others, standing high in a society. And these real set of people will not get any appreciation, they will not get any name, they will strive hard but still they are pulled back and that's the reason they will be having the sorrow state. Okay? This is one thing about it. And the next beautiful thing is also here. Pisces and Sagittarius, Danus and Meena. And these are the beautiful places because when once a person enters, the native who has Jupiter in one of these two signs, either Pisces or <laughs> Danus, and that is again a wanderer or a saint life. Because, see, usually what we say, either from Lagna or from Jupiter, the ninth house is the wisdom place. Higher studies, wisdom, whatever is there. Clear? So, <clears throat> when this ninth house, from Aries, this becomes a ninth house. See, simple. When you take from ascendant, second house, you will say, Dhanasthanam. And what is here? The second house from Aries. It is the fortune house. Or it is the Dhanasthana, it is Venus's house, finance. Okay? Third, you call it as communication, traveling. Yes, communication, this is media. So, same everything from anywhere you go. You go from the Jupiter, you go from the Lagna, you go from uh, this uh, regular signs, uh, what the ninth house says, from Aries. Same old answers. We call fourth house from Lagna, the mother. Same thing. See, exactly from the fourth house. It is Cancer. That is Moon's house, mother's house. Okay? So, everything, all the roads lead to Rome. <coughs> no, I'm just going out of my track. Sorry. Ninth house is the saintly life or wisdom for the spiritual life. From here, it will be just they are getting away from the materialistic life, family life. That way, that's the reason they become wanderers or aimlessly they will travel. <laughs> These are, this is the reason. But highly knowledgeable, self-made personalities, all these things are here. And here in Pisces, these people are pious. They go to a foreign land, settle down there and earn some money and come back and start doing some good things here in India. This is what they are going to do. Because, see, if at all Jupiter is here, the tenth of the karmic action is nothing but Sagittarius. He has to do good for the town, for the city, for the people of the city. Very simple, as simple as that. Okay? So, this is about science. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, next, uh, where we have to touch? Yeah. One more secret is there. If at all, Mars, the planet Mars, is behind Jupiter. Those people have to take care. They should not go in for giving any securities for others. They should not sign for others. They will get stuck. Trials and police problems are indicated when Mars sits in the 12th house from Jupiter. This is one point. Next. <clears throat> if at all Jupiter is retrograde. If at all in a natal chart Jupiter is retrograde. 
Actually, Jupiter retrogradeness will be very good because it clearly says immaterial of all the other planets. This gentleman, the native, this lady, if it is a she, they are going to develop in a different land and shine well with name and fame in a different land because of retrograde Jupiter. But in their state or in their hometown, they will not have that much of recognition. This is what retrograde Jupiter tells us. Okay. Now what have we got next? Ah, now we have come to the real beautiful place. Let me remove this uh, retrogradeness. No, no more retrogradeness. All only straightforward planets. Okay. Today, I want to give you all one beautiful study. Of course, in the same context, not from something else. What I wanted to give you all is what I have learned about finding the birth month of a wife. Finding the birth month of a husband. Because so many people are struggling to find grooms, to find brides for their children. But they will collectively get the horoscopes or charts, birth charts from marriage bureaus or marriage, what do you call it, brokers. They will be hunting for all, they all look at the <coughs> stars combinations. They think that two stars, individually the boys and the girls stars, if they tally and get some calculation and if it is matching, that is over. That is not the case. Each native has a destiny and he has a perfect wife for him. Each lady in her chart, she has a boy, she has a man for him in a perfect fitment that means she has to get a person who has taken in birth in one particular month the man the male should get a wife who has taken in a particular month birth month okay this is how these things go it is not casual it is written there that's why we get all the details at the time of the birth of a child complete details about the study and about the way of life about his education, even about marriage. Okay? Till now, we were talking about Venus's qualities for a man, Mars's qualities for a man. Now we are going to dig into the birth month of a wife, the birth month of a husband. We will see how far you are going to be correct. Because I have tried, <laughs> I have got my maximum percentage of it. Now I just dump it in front of you all. Now it's your job to play with it. Okay? Fine. See, I'll tell you. The main secret of knowing this is very simple if you try to follow. And these are the important points. These, these are the nerve centers for astrology. When you are not able to tell these things, then it's of no use. No matter how far you have studied, you should be able to remember and you should be... See, a person getting highest marks in the examination just by copying is different. A person struggling hard and coming out in a high colors or flying colors is different. So your intuition, it is not exactly what you have to, what you have to study, what you have studied you have to write in the examination. It is the way how you present what you have known it. So that's what I'm doing here. I have just learned something in the process of the knowledge and that has given me the rate of success. So that I am presenting it to you all. Okay? Right. Listen carefully. We are going to deal with finding out the birth month of a female. This is a male chart. First we will start with the male chart. Hoping this is a male chart. The system is the same. Only thing is, in a female, in a male chart, we take uh, Venus. In a female chart, we find for Mars. Clear? So, now Jupiter is here. Okay? Jupiter in Sagittarius. That is. Don't do anything. You just see the 7th house. You forget about the planet. 
you forget about the venus this is a male chart right now assume this is the male chart so jupiter is in sagittarius the seventh house is gemini so the birth month of the wife will be june simple as simple as that i really hope from january it starts don't go for date we will not get the date here because sun directly not on 1st of january is going to go into capricorn so january it starts here february march april may june same format january february march april where is it oh seven those one two three four five six seven yeah ja this is january february march april may june this is one point second point this is first thing is seventh house month please note this first point is seventh house from jupiter and that month is the month of the birth of the female okay second point placement of venus placement of venus sign clear i'll tell you <coughs> two angles usually i'll be saying trinal sign trinal sign yes that really works and it is works that way only 1 5 and 9 okay now this is one angle exactly you ask them of course what we are doing here instead of getting 100 horoscopes now we have come to only find the horoscopes of june board and in the june board we are going to tally which is going to be tally with number of gunas or kutas for the marriage and we'll set the set so that will come to one level next point venus is placement sign if venus is placed here okay then you count january february march april may june july august september october so october one opportunity now trinal signs of these <coughs> this is the seventh house sign trinal sign is here and he, uh, here march so march october june is the three months if you take it from placement of venus if you take it from here also it is here so march october and june are the months which is going to tally for this gentleman the wife we have taken venus is because this is a male chart venus is the wife so wherever that venus is placed that will be the month or the trinal months you check you check for yourself percentage of it you get it okay this is one path of knowing it okay second thing say here also trinal sign venus is see 1 2 3 4 5 5 this is fifth house then again uh, uh, from here 1 2 3 4 5 5 so october march and uh, june are the three places where the birth month of the wife will be for example if it is a female chart also there is second you can see already mars is here if it is a female chart mars is already there so sixth month mars again trinal signs so here the easiest way of finding the birth month of the husband or a wife is seventh house seventh house from jupiter the month of that house no planets is considered even if no planets are there or seventh house lord first thing is seventh house month second thing is placement of venus or mars if it is male venus if it is a female chart mars okay 
एंड सेवेंथ हाउस लॉर्ड प्लेसमेंट you find the trinel in all these three sections you will get to one particular picture and that is the month of the husband clear right this is one point so finding about the husband's birth month or wife's birth month you know now we'll go for the children the same thing works for the children fifth house don't go for the fifth house lord don't go for the fifth house lord from jupiter fifth house is the children first child 7 uh, 7 8 9 house is the second child the trinels are sagittarius aries and leo these are the trinels okay ah when you just hunt for the children's birth month okay when you hunt for the children's birth month where you will hunt why you will hunt you tell me that yeah you will hunt if at all a married newly wedded couple come to an astrologer they'll ask you the first question is when i will go i have when we are going to have a child and the child is just does not come out at any point of the time it has got its own birth time according to the planets uh, according to the charts of the both parents so it will select its time we cannot do anything on that the child's birth selects its own time based on the charts of the uh, mother and father okay now in both the cases we have to see in both the cases but of course it tallies okay <clears throat> Jupiter, fifth house, and the trinal months. This is January, March, April. Between March, April, May, June, July, August. Between July, August, November, December. These will be the birth months of the child, first child, or the second child. Now, nine those again, same old trinal signs. You cannot escape. second uh, you want to check it once more go for the mother's chart from there you select the trinal points based on that and that will be the delivery date birth month don't say it is a conceiving date it is not a conceiving date you have to use your intuition and bring out the conceiving date then immediately you can say where's when the birth month is the ninth month or 9 uh, 9 and a half months or 8 and a half months whatever it is you come just back and all this month you are going to conceive and that month will definitely be according to numerology the correlating month of the birth month of the mother birth month of the father okay that is the lengthy discussion i don't do it now right now we are concentrating on these two things how to trace out a birth month of a husband how to trace out a birth month of a wife that is over now how to trace out the birth month of a child just once more i'll repeat because i love this subject so i like to repeat it once more from jupiter the fifth house trinal signs from the fifth house or just like i added fifth house lord's placement trinal signs from there even that you can check fifth house and trinal side trinal signs or rasis fifth house lord's placement and trinal signs i have repeatedly telling you i think you would have understood okay of course when time permits some other context i'll just bring it back this is lovely hidden things you know this is what we say hidden thing we are going to find out because regular usage you know you uh, i know there there may be people I'll let me not uh, comment on others uh, very few i have seen <laughs> now this is about the fifth house next we'll go to the profession part of it one second yeah. when we knew about the fifth house likewise we can know about the tenth house that is the month of a profession ah here one more thing happens 
There will be so many people, they will be just quitting the jobs and going frequently. Yes, even that is possible. Even that. I'll just give you a vague idea. Very vaguely I'll bring it out. From Jupiter the 10th house. House only, not the planets. At times you can take the 10th house lord. His placement and trinal signs from his placement. 10th house lord's placement. But generally, first step we'll check it like this. Jupiter's 10th house trinal signs. That will tell you the month of profession. So many people, they get their interviews done and they'll be waiting for one, one and a half month to get the job. Yeah, it has to come to this circle. Second option, just like same, that's why I've written it here. You take out for the placement of Venus for wife, placement of Mars and placement of Saturn for the profession. Trinal signs again. These are the months where quitting the job, getting a new job, all these things happen. So this is about Saturn and profession. So about 7th, about 5th, about profession I have given you. I can talk about death also. <laughs> we can know that. Uh, right now we are in the starting, I mean, <laughs> in the beginning. So let us, uh, let us not move to the end of it. <laughs> we will take that. You forget about that now. So this is one beautiful thing which is happening right now. Next, I will give you one more clue for tracing out awards and honors. When you find Sun in the ninth house from Jupiter, I will repeat it. When in any natal chart, male or female, if you find from Jupiter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if you find Sun here, you forget about this five. I'm not talking about Leo. I'm just talking. If if if, if uh, Jupiter is here, ninth house. From Jupiter, if Sun is there, placed in the ninth house, and that person is going to get honors and awards. This is one point. There is one more point. From Jupiter, the ninth house Lord in tenth house. You will be getting honors and awards according to the age that I will come when I do the rounds. Okay, so this is about the honors and awards. Okay, and uh, I would like to do one more thing now because this is uh, now coming to one particular hold. I don't want to drop it. I want it. There is one more thing to know if a native has a step brother or a stepsister even that is possible if at all ah, okay let us take like this ah this is the same okay okay it's very lively this is a very right example for that step brother or step sister if at all all the planets are between Rahu and Ketu. Usually Rahu and Ketu are the family circle. From the beginning of Rahu till the end of Ketu, that is the family circle. Okay. If you find either Mars, only planet Mars outside the circle, just like in this case. Okay. Only Mars is outside the circle. Here also. Everybody is there, only Mars is outside. In these cases, you can clearly tell that the native has a step brother. Point number one. Point number two. In case, if we shift Venus here, in this case, if we shift Venus to out of Rahu Ketu circle, you can clearly say. The native has a, he or she, the native has a step sister. This is one thing. <clears throat> okay. So, now, the another one more important thing we will finish today and we can happily enjoy a long weekend. For me, it will become a weekend because 
uh, almost daily I'll be writing notes and preparing it, these things. Mm. Now we'll start the main thing. Usually people used to ask me, how can you say when it's going to happen and what it's going to happen? In the traditional astrology, they look into Dasha Bhukti for happening of events. Okay? For happening of any events, minor, small, big, whatever it is. They will look into the Dasha Bhukti, Antar Dasha, Sukshvantar Dasha, and they come to one particular point where they, are, they will be sure enough to say that this incident is going to happen because this is the Dasha, this is the Antar Bhukti is going on. But we don't have that much of uh, patience. We want to know things very fast, just as soon as we look at it. Yes, you can know that. How? I will be usually telling you all rounds of Jupiter. I am not going to do the complete set of rounds because it will get you confused again. Only this one planet and finding what is going to happen when the transiting Jupiter each time it touches different planets. This is the only study finally I am going to give you about Jupiter today. Right? Okay. Now, <clears throat> Mars is not here. Ma Venus is here. This is the regular chart. Okay? This was like this only. We have altered it for our usage. Where is Venus? Yeah, Venus is there. Now, present day, where is Jupiter? Jupiter is in Libra. Okay? Jupiter in Libra, it is touching whom? Don't ask me. Libra is in 20 degrees, Moon is in 10 degrees, so it, has, it is touching Moon only. Don't do that. That point also will be there when you want to precisely find out a date. But generally, as soon as he enters here, when he touches Venus and the Moon, blindly that year, this native is going to have a big change in his life. Financially, change of place, all these things are going to take uh, place here. For example, here. When Jupiter comes to Scorpio, Venus, what all Venus does? When Jupiter, transiting Jupiter, when it touches Venus, it gives him money, it gives him vehicles, it uh, gives him good food, it uh, makes him purchase luxurious things, costly things, gold and jewelry, and moon, it makes him travel to a foreign land, it makes him to travel in a business class, all these beautiful things, and if at all, the native had sufferings here, moon, it will change him from the bad to the good. That is the planets giving the native. These are the planets which give individually for the native, transiting Jupiter is the native. Okay? That native, when he touches Venus and moon, he will enjoy all these things. Next, nobody is here. Next, Jupiter is here. When Jupiter is there, transiting Jupiter is touching the natal Jupiter. That means the native is going to get popular, publicity will come. Good things, good happenings will happen to him in his house. Because this is fourth house lord also. This is how we are going through it. And because Saturn is also available, he will see some developments in the professional front. Because though Saturn is a malefic. You don't say that it's bad things are going to happen to him. Yes, Mars is looking at it. When Jupiter transiting Jupiter comes here, Mars is aspecting Sagittarius. Definitely, he will try to hit him. But still, because it is Jupiter's own house, he will not touch him. And Saturn is Jupiter's friend, he will not touch him. Though there is enmity between Mars and Saturn. So there will be professional developments. Okay, Publicity, professional development, two things are here. Fine. And because Mars is aspecting, there is the chances of the native getting involved with purchase of, of purchasing of land or house, building land or house. Not all the 12 rounds, not always, see, the first 12 rounds Jupiter will come here. He will aspect Mars. 
Even the second round will come here when he is 24 years old. The native when he is 24 years old, he will come here. Mars again aspects him. It doesn't mean that each time he were traveled in the 24 uh, house signs or rasis, he will come here exactly to the same point after 12 years. Same thing will not happen. This is I, I this is totally will be a different uh, point, and I will explain you what you have to take care of, where you have to note it, and which round what it is going to give you. Okay, right now only the transiting Jupiter gives this benefit. Okay, fine. Now when he goes in, this is now 2017, 18, 19, 2020, 2021, 2021, he will be touching Ketu. When he touches Ketu, Ketu is in the water. So this gentleman, the native, he or she has to travel to pilgrimage center, pilgrimage tour or because Ketu is also dead, the native may get information about the dead dead people or death then again ah uh, don't say nothing is going to happen here 19 20 21 22 22 is aspected by mercury and sun again good food good uh, enjoyments with good company or uh, rich company this is that period and here 19 20 21 22 23 venus and moon again Again, we start flourishing. Again, we start getting money. Money flow will be there. Travel will be there. Vehicles will come. These things will happen. Here, nobody is there. Here again, Mars. Mars is aspecting. Mars is aspected by Jupiter and Saturn. So at this point, he will have to build his house, or he will have to have a surgery, or what all the Mars signifies. Those those are the effects. This is one point. In brief, you will get it when you go into the rounds. This I casually brought it in front of you, just to, of just for you people to get an idea how to uh, predict about the events when transiting Jupiter is there. Okay, and when he touches Ketu, sorry, I forgot to tell you about this. When Jupiter touches Ketu, <clears throat> a person's life will change from good to bad or from bad to better. Rahu just 100% you be sure that good things is going to happen from there. But Ketu, two things he may do. One, he may cut out the bad things and give you a better life. Or if you are enjoying all the while in the previous years, we will try to disconnect that and give you a normal life. That one thing Ketu does. Now again when he comes here, Rahu. By the time Jupiter will come here and we will carry on about Jupiter in Scorpio in my next class. Okay, I think uh, we have done enough and it was a good session also. For me, I was happy giving it to you all. I know how far you people are going to receive it. Okay, till I meet you next time. Bye.